get in. Where are we, Babas? Where are we? Where are we going? Where are we going, Hansa? Where are we going? Where are we going? Say, so we're going to Ottawa, everyone, for mommy's birthday. <laughs> We're going to Ottawa for mommy's birthday. <laughs> yes. So I don't know where we are right now. Where are we, babe? Haste, County of Hastings. On vacation ish. I guess you can say that. Um, it's my birthday weekend, as you all know. <laughs> and I still gotta do mommy duties. And this is what I prompt this morning. That's maybe what pump, they're going to do. Pumping, 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 pumping. Pump, pump. So just finished pumping. I'm very tired. We got in, what time did we get in, babe? Af mm -hmm. uh, like 11.50. Yeah, 11, yeah, 11.45. Yeah, so we got in pretty late last night. And my bubbles was very, very grumpy. Mm -hmm. Very grumpy because he's normally in bed sleeping by the time we got in. So it was very cranky last night. But we made it by the grace of God very safely. Um, and we'll see what hubby has planned for the day. Hubby, what do you have planned for the day? Well, I can't tell you what I have planned because that would defeat the purpose of what your son planned for you, so. Mm -hmm. uh, you planned something for me, lover? Hands up. Aiden handsome. <laughs> All he wants is food. Look at you. He does. Traveling with a baby, you gotta get creative in how to keep them busy in the hotel when you got things to do, like when you're cleaning up and stuff like that. So, when we want to eat, 
your devotional if they're not sleeping what do you do so this is what we did we have a chair that we had purchased from amazon as you can see it's like one of those girl with me you know um what are they called lawn patio whatever chairs you want to call them so it's a baby one that he's in right now so babies are very smart there was one that he was watching just now that he was just making noise about that he doesn't like there's one that he likes so much it's a learning uh, video that we watch on youtube for him baby first words so let me show you what he looks like now hi are you having fun That's your favorite one. Let me make it bigger for you. Hold on, Eden. Mommy, make it bigger. Mommy, make it bigger. Okay. Ears. Ears. Your ears. One thing that we do for breastfed babies, um, if you don't know, they need to get vitamin D. And I give Aiden his vitamin D in this syringe. One thing that I learned about is when you're putting this in their mouth, because I've had times where Aiden has choked or he's spitting up um, the vitamin D, even though he loves it, is if you actually position it to the side of his cheek, so side like that to the cheek, and you put it in, you can see he's it's finished but he's still sucking on it the side of his cheek when you put it in their mouth you avoid my glasses is falling off too you avoid any choking or um, spinning up um, any of the vitamin D so there's a tip for you when you're traveling with a baby anything is possible so as you can see his vitamin D you can hear him out there his vitamin D um, syringe is there and Tylenol syringe is there this is a container that I keep them in his vitamin D. This is, uh, um, I guess you can say cough medicine hey, hey. kind of thing. And then his hey. Tylenol. What vitamin D are you talking about? Oh gosh, of course, that's my husband for you. Vitamin D <laughs> for the baby <laughs> to take. <laughs> oh, that vitamin D. So as you can see, I have pillows around him. Um, I don't like him sleeping on the material itself. You don't know where it's been, who's been on it. So I have his blanket on there and then a pillow blocking him from touching the couch there. And then so he doesn't fall off and I actually have a little stool here. Don't mind the banana, but the stool here so he doesn't fall off. And then I'm just in the kitchen there cleaning up so I can watch him while he's sleeping. Good now? 
there. Did you have a good nap, my bus? Say hi. Say hi, my bubbles. You want your blanket? Hands up. When you are traveling, if you're a pumping mom and you're traveling, you just gotta figure out how am I gonna travel home with my milk? So I don't mind my hair. My hair, these are gonna come out. But um, I pumped every morning, every night, like I normally do while on this weekend trip, and we are about six hours from home. So how am I gonna keep it cold? All right, so this is what I'm gonna do. This is all the milk um, that I pumped this weekend, and then I have a little bit left in the in a bottle that's not enough to put in a bag. So what I did is, normally this is my cooler. You can get a bigger one, but this is just easier to travel with. And most hotels have, you know, ice machines. So I have some ice. And what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna put this bottle all the way down there. And then I'm just gonna put this milk in there and just pile it up that way. actually have in the freezers I brought this this comes with your Medela pumps well I guess if you get the full package I'm not sure how they all work and I'm just gonna put this on top there now I have another um, little gadget thing or whatever it's called container that goes on top I'm not sure if it will fit to my bottle's falling off I'm not sure if it will fit oh it does perfect we had snacks on top there which will probably still add and that's it. That's how I'm traveling my milk back home. Are you ready to go home? Are you ready to go home? Yes. Say, it. we're going home. We're going home. We're going home. We're going home, Bubbas. Where are you looking? Say, we're going home. Yes? You can't eat the camera. You can't eat the camera, Bubba's. Time to go home? Woo, woo, woo. Time to go home. Time to go home.